Okay, in this video we're going to calculate a couple of directional derivatives. So directional derivatives have this kind of strange notation that you can see right here. Um, and so this would be the directional derivative in the direction of the unit vector u of the function f at the point a, b. Um, the way you calculate that is actually it's a dot product of the gradient of f at a, b with the unit vector. Um, so let's see if we can do one. So we want the uh, directional derivative of f of x, y is 2x, y minus 3y squared at the point 5, 5 in the direction of um, 4i plus 3j. So we need a gradient. So let's see if we can calculate that. So we remember, hopefully, gradient is partial x comma partial y. So I'm going to calculate those. So first, the derivative with respect to x, which means that um, all the y's are basically constants. Um, and then with respect to y, which means all the x's are basically constants. So you should get that. Um, and now I need to evaluate this at the point 5, 5. So let's do that. You can plug in 5. I get 10, and then 10 minus 30. So I end up getting 10, negative 20 as my gradient. Okay, so I have that. Now what I need is I need a unit vector. Um, so that's going to be the vector divided by its own magnitude or you're, you're normalizing the vector is another way of saying that. Um, so let's calculate that. So the magnitude of v is 5. So this is going to give me 4 fifths comma 3 fifths, which I'm going to write using that notation because it's a little easier. Um, this, by the way, is uh, by far the most common mistake uh, that my students make is that they just forget to turn that into a unit vector, uh, which means you just get like a scaled up version of the directional derivative, but it's still not the directional derivative. So make sure you turn it into a unit vector. And then for this problem, uh, to finish it off, we're going to write the correct notation and then compute our dot product. So we're going to get 10, negative 20, dot 4 fifths, comma 3 fifths. And if you work that out, 10 times 4 fifths plus negative 20 times 3 fifths, which ultimately gives us negative 4. So that's the directional derivative. Um, conceptually, what that means is if you were standing on a hill let's say that is this surface, um, and you turn in the direction of the vector uh, 4 fifths comma 3 fifths, uh, you would expect the hill to slope down uh, with a slope of negative 4 in that particular direction. Um, so let's do another one. So not that bad, really finding the gradient is probably the hardest part. Um, so for this one, we have f of xy is x minus y over xy plus 2 at 1, negative 1, uh, and then in the direction of 12, 5, which still is not a unit vector, so we're going to have to change that. So let's calculate a gradient. So partial x, bottom, derivative of the top, minus top, derivative of the bottom, all over the bottom squared. Um, and remember, that's with respect to x, so all the y's are basically constants. And then we need to evaluate that at 1, negative 1, which if you plug in, gives you 3. Then we're going to find partial y, which is really similar, bottom derivative of the top minus top derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. And we need to evaluate that. So this is to find the gradient, remember. Uh, that gives me negative 3, so I can combine those. And I now know that the gradient at 1, negative 1 is 3, negative 3. So I have that. Now I need a unit vector. So I'm going to calculate a unit vector. Um, the magnitude here is 13. You get a lot of Pythagorean triples as your vectors, uh, which is nice. Well, I mean, two parts of a Pythagorean triple, I guess, so that you can normalize it really quickly. Uh, now I need to do a dot product to find the actual directional derivative. So it's going to be 3 negative 3 dot 12 thirteenths comma 5 thirteenths. And if you work all that out, I think you get 21 over 13. Uh, so that's two examples of directional derivatives. Uh, the gradient is probably the hardest part to calculate, and the number one thing that people forget is to use a unit vector. Um, if you remember how to do those things, you should be fine. Hope you found this helpful, and good luck.